Ebola, it's here. Are you gonna get it? Yes. Unless you follow my Ebola YouTube survival guide. <coughs> Step one, lock yourself in the basement. Don't leave it. And find something fun to do while you're bored. For example, bath with your snake. Assuming you have a snake, but I'm sure any reptile will do. Next, select an Ebola cure from those put forward by the dozens of sciencey seeming people on YouTube. Uh, using salmon oil. Oil of oregano. Colloidal silver. Nano silver. Green vibrance. And for children, they could, they could have uh, vitamin C enemas. These are real cures. It's not like they're just printing out some label saying miracle cure and putting it on their bottle. Oh wow, they are, never mind. They're totally doing that. This guy's using colloidal silver, which is literally silver in water with like three nine volt batteries. I'm not sure how it works, but I'm sure it's FDA approved. Bear in mind, however, there are some side effects. Silver in very high concentrations can be toxic. It can also cause a condition that would turn your skin gray. Tell me about it. If you don't know something about Ebola, ask. Like this person who tweeted, can you get Ebola if someone farts on you? There's no such thing as a stupid question, but there is such thing as my favorite question, and this is it. Incidentally, yes you can. If you know the answers, tell us. Like Patriot Nurse. Mostly spread through blood, tears, and semen, as well as mm, vaginal secretions. I have a term for this. If you come to class, it's unforgettable. Girl goo? Lady lava? I'm just kidding. Sheman. It's disgusting. But I'm sure it's sheman. Next tip. Don't be stupid. When it comes to spreading germs, everyone on YouTube seems to be a total moron. Like, on planes. <laughs> Guys, stop. Please, I'm not feeling very well. Guys, please stop. Oh! All right, that's it. <laughs> Even children know to cover their face when they sneeze, right? Wrong. Blurp. Oh, skew you! Oh, that's disgusting. You noticed it, didn't you, girl? That's the look all over your face. You know who didn't? These kids. So you know what? Dead. Dead. YouTubers, get smarter. Germs hide out in the places you'd least expect. Like, believe it or not, that trough at the ballpark everybody pees in. Don't do this. <laughs> nice slide. I don't know if you're out, but you're definitely not safe. Metaphor alert. Ebola is causing a figurative shitstorm. But did you know you could also get it from a literal shitstorm. At least it's not in your mouth. Oh wow, it is almost certainly in your mouth. It just keeps happening and he never learns. Bear in mind, our government is incompetent. They're even grosser than we are. Work to make that is that, oh, ear booger. We in the Department of Homeland Security will inspect every possible contaminant before we eat it on TV. Mm. Eerie. Parents, your children's hygiene is your responsibility. What's in your mouth? Cicada. Cicada. Oh, gross. That's one of those insects that stays in the ground for 17 years, which breaks the five second rule by like 500 million seconds. <laughs> Where's it going? To his other mucous membranes. So in summation, join the fight against Ebola. Be safe and clean or be dead and gross. You can be patient zero or you can be patient hero. Take your pick. And I do mean pick. <laughs> Join us on the next viral video, Film School. Special thanks to Junk Food Clothing for my on-theme shirt. Do you get it? Send me wall things. New videos every Tuesday and old new videos every Thursday. Subscribe, please. I'll wait. Do some kind of small study in Africa, say on, on 100 people who have far advanced uh, problems this with Ebola. This would be the perfect time to do it. It would be an Nothing inexpensive... Nothing to lose if they're going to die anyway. That's right.